Hello, this is Mike from Fair Repair and today is a day I'm sure many of you have been waiting for. I'll be working on a MacBook today. And yes, I have almost no idea how to get started. I have to work with the experience I got from other devices, from the other manufacturers. And hopefully it will help me good enough so I can fix or at least diagnose this, this device. Why I am talking about diagnose? Well, let me plug the charger. When I plug the charger, it does the following. It goes up to 100, 200 and even 300 milliamps current draw and then suddenly drops to below 100 milliamps. I've observed this behavior with all four ports, USB-C ports, so it sounds already worse to be honest and uh, I really fear a dead chipset uh, platform controller hub, something like that to be honest because it draws already a lot and the device is basically stone dead. Stone dead, nothing lighting up, no response to the power button of course, so um, well I don't know whether we can do much. But uh, let's see, let's see. So let's surprise, surprise. What is that? Flux. Here. These coils were lifted. <laughs> Come on. Here's a cover missing from the T2 chip. Here's a broken connector. Someone messed with this device already, which is worse than expected. I can't believe. I mean, why are there so many stupid fools and scammers around? Just tell me why. Hmm? This is an unbelievable impertinence. Again. Let's see what it's doing. I guess this cable is somehow important for the battery communication. Let's plug the charger again. <coughs> oh, something has changed. Oh, fans are spinning. Shouldn't happen with lid closed, no? <laughs> no core voltage. So what do we have? We have 3.3 here. 5 volts here. Here we have 1 volts. Rums Memory supply, this is probably for the battery, 12.3, 5 volts, don't know what this is, Ew, even the GPU has power, 
1.2 here. So why did they lift the coils? Why? 0 0.9, 0 0.8. I assume the GPU is fully powered. But what about the CPU? System agent probably. And this looks like three phases of VCC core and two additional phases. of VCC GT. How can it how can I shut it down now? Like that, okay. Let's check for healthy resistances. So but what is that? I have no idea what this is. Thirteen ohms, okay. Can be two ohms. Two ohms sounds low. Sounds low. Two ohms and four point five. Can be a dead CPU. Can be a dead CPU. I have the DRMOS here, but I can't spot the VRM controller. Here we had the coil without voltage, you know? Kilo ohms should be healthy. Very interesting. Here a T2 chip. This could be the M controller here. Is this the MacBook equivalent of a PCH? Maybe. Here we have some interesting chips. I guess underneath this foils are the PD controllers. Looks very interesting. Okay, I see no other way than to pull out the board and uh, and see whether we can find something around the VRM controller. Let's go. So, I've built a small workaround so we can test the VRM controller properly and uh, with all access we need right now. So let's move under the microscope. So here is our nice controller. 
So I have so power is plugged in. Good. And I can get here. So um basic check of a vrm controller so what can we check um, to know whether uh, whether it is uh, healthy at all so we can check whether it is enabled at all enable we'll find here and enable we find here and we do have one volt so the controller is enabled on this capacitor we are expecting some voltage 12 volt so this is actually the main power rail reaching the controller and we also need a 5 volt supply which we'll find here and we do have 5 volts so the input voltages are present the controller is abled which is already a logical conclusion because VCC system agent is already present and also controlled from this controller here. So what else can we check? In cases where the CPU doesn't get voltage at all, it is a SVID communication issue. And we'll find the corresponding alert pin here. SVID alert and we only have 100 millivolts here so it is basically pulled low here we have probably clock or data 1 volts and here we have also clock and data 1 volts so clock and data for the communication between the VRM controller and the CPU itself is running and the alert pin is pulled low anyway so we have clearly some sort of communication issue with the CPU and uh, for this reason it cannot request the voltage it is in need of so what can we do else we can check for a power good signal from the controller if it pulls high the power good and it is present the controller at least thinks everything is fine. All for no VCC core voltage is present. What is the conclusion? Yeah, the conclusion is the CPU is basically dead. Uh, yes, of course, we could uh, dig into the circuit. I already did a visual inspection of the area around the CPU and um, unfortunately, there is nothing obvious to find. Let me remove the power now. Good. So, yes, we can check the area around the CPU for something obvious, a missing component, or maybe um, a burn component or something like that, a ripped tra track, things like that. But um, yeah, I already did this inspection and I did, now, I did not find anything. I've also removed the heatsink already and um, yeah, there is nothing. Um, another thing we can do is to simply replace the controller this is something we could actually do but um, yeah in 99% of the case it it won't do anything so uh, even for myself you know I'm I like this uh, challenges and I really spend much time in in very weird folds and complicated folds but um, if it's like that and I even can't successfully successfully diagnose the board. There is a high chance I can't. Then, um, yeah, 
we are already in a deep, deep rabbit hole. No? Yes, I could, could check all these com uh, components, all these resistors and so on. But uh, there is a high chance where it does not turn out anything. And see yourself, there, is, there are dozens of components. Dozens. Yeah. So um, the, out the outcome from my experience is simply a dead CPU. And this means we can't do anything for this board anymore. So um, yeah, I'll uh, assemble it again and um, yeah, this device is four parts now. Although we again were not able to fix the device, I hope it was interesting and educational anyway. As always, if you like my videos, I'm happy about a comment, a like or even a subscription for my channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.